one channel, different shows, everything entertaining. Make a Path presents, let's talk. Welcome to Make a Path presents. My name is Ronnie Hayes, and today, let's talk The Walking Dead Q&A 18. Jorgen Fonstad. When Negan gets introduced, I think he will kill one of the new characters. What do you think? Negan has to kill somebody that's emotionally connected to the viewers, and I don't think the new characters are quite there yet. Matex999. Have you noticed the pattern of how people die tend to be pretty much dead already? Sophia bitten by a walker, Woodbury group sickness or governor killing spree, Terminus overrun either way. I'm not seeing it. <laughs> I think you can use that in pretty much any TV show, especially The Walking Dead, because death is looming around every corner. You know what I mean? Booyah, Chad Jokwa. How much time has passed since season four mid-season to season five mid-season? I could sit down and say, because I know I did it for another video where you can actually pinpoint when they wake up and when they whatever, especially with Daryl and the um, Romers, Joe's group. But I would say two weeks. I would say just, if you want to know how much time, Two weeks is an accurate representation of how much time would have passed. Bar Axis. Where, how, and why did the virus disease start? Where there'll be a cure in the future in the Walking Dead universe? Uh, no, there won't be a cure. The way Robert Kirkman talks, it's like that would kill a story because stories are built on conflict. If you bring in a cure for the conflict, the story's over. You know what I mean? So honestly, if they cured the world of the Walking Dead, the story's over. So no, there is no cure. And as far as the virus, he doesn't like going into details. So no, we don't know anything about the virus. We don't know the where, the how, and the why. Sarah Kerrigan. Love your rants in the Q&A. Thank you, Sarah. Do you think it would be a good idea for Negan to kill Daryl the same way? No, only because everyone is predicting it now. Literally everyone. I get that question twice a day, you know? Sammy Radabach. Anson Mount as Jesus, Hell on Wheels. I haven't watched Hell on Wheels, so I don't really know. But I think Jesus needs to be more flexible, you know what I mean, for the martial arts aspect. Jacob Lawson. Where do you think they're going with Carol next? How much longer do you think she will be alive? Well, at this point, sitting back and thinking about it more, I have a feeling she's going to make it out of season five. And they could go anywhere with her next. I mean, change is a big thing with The Walking Dead. Change and transformation, but also acceptance. Carol did have a change. She did have a transformation. I believe that next for her character, since recently she was trying to leave the group, I think acceptance is in order for that character and then moving on from there you know what I mean the tainted beat what are your opinions on Daryl fangirls who stopped watching if Daryl dies uh, yeah man it's so hard to answer because you you just want to keep it you know drama free I'll be honest with you though if you're a person I've said this time and time again if you are watching only for Daryl Dixon, you're not a Walking Dead fan, so you can stop saying it. And that's the truth, and there's nothing wrong with that. If you want to support Norman Reedus, that's fine. I would never harp on anyone. I have supported Norman Reedus in the 90s, before anyone gave a shit about him. You know what I'm saying? So if you want to support him, that's fucking awesome. The dude is a stand-up guy. He's a cool fucking dude, you know what I mean? I haven't personally met him, but I have a couple friends that have met him. He's a stand-up guy. If you want to support him, awesome. Go for it. But don't bitch at everyone else. Don't bitch, harp, and moan at the producers and the other fans because or when he dies. You know what I'm saying? For me, when Daryl dies, and I, again, and I don't even know why I get shit for this, but because I have been supporting Norman Reedus and his projects for like 20 years. If I can deal with it and get over it, you certainly can. Support Boondock Saints 3. And then you ask... Uh, do you think Andrew Lincoln would ever want to quit The Walking Dead? You know, there might come a time when he does. I really hope he gives it a while because if you look back on actors and their careers, when they hit something that's so huge, at this point right now, you will always see him as Rick Grimes. And you know what actors tend to do? Well, I don't want to get typecast or I don't want people to look at me as this character for my entire career. I'm going to back out of this. It's too late. It's too late for that. Andrew Lincoln needs to ride it out, you know what I mean, for his career. Because he is going to have fans after this. He will definitely get work after this. But the point is, the fans he is getting right now, they're going to be fans of his for life. I know I'll support him in his next project. You know, if he quit The Walking Dead right now, I would not support him at all. Because 
to quit a show is like turning their back on the fans. And I know some people disagree, but it really is. When you take on projects as an entertainer to say, well, you know, I had enough of that and it's turn around and walk out. Like there's some actors that have done that. And I look at them like, I don't want to support you. You know what I'm saying? Because what are you doing it for? How do you think season five will end? Right now, I don't know. I believe season five might end going into the No Way Out story arc, but more importantly, I believe it's going to be a uh, original concept within Alexandria. I don't believe we're gonna end with a comic book ending right now for season five. Will Rick shave and become a police officer like in the comics? Yes, I believe he will. Nick Braley. What do you think would have happened if the governor and his soldiers from back in the season three ran into Grady Memorial Group if they went to Atlanta? Oh, I think governor would have killed them all, you know, in his own way, the governor would have killed them all. Sliced up drunk. In the possible The Walking Dead movie, would you think some of the cast from the TV show reprise their roles? Personally, I can't see anybody else but Andrew Lincoln and David Morrissey. No, you know what? If they adapt it into an actual live action movie, which they'll never do, not for at least 10 years, guaranteed. You know what I mean? That's why I was personally saying it should be a cartoon or some kind of animated. Snake 3-5 Eric. Who do you think Negan should kill instead of Glenn? Uh, nobody. I think it should be Glenn. Chris Warren. Hey man, what are your thoughts on The Last of Us as far as post-apocalyptic storytelling? And what are your hopes and fears as far as the movie? Well, my fear is they fuck it up. My hope is they keep it really similar to the actual game. The game had an amazing story, absolutely loved it. The Last of Us is one of the best apocalyptic stories, games, whatever. It's one of the best post-apocalyptic, you know, zombie, outbreak, entertainment, anything. You know what I mean? Fucking awesome. OMFG, it's Blaze. I really wish they would have went into more detail about the governor and why he used a different name. In the first book about him, it was explained and it would have fit so nicely into the show as a flashback. Do you think they should have explained it or maybe a movie to get you deeper into the character's background? Me personally, I don't think they should do anything more to governor. I mean, at least from the TV show wise. And you are actually the third person this week who mentioned about the book confusing them because uh, the backstory didn't fit the TV show. And uh, I, the, the book is actually not. The governor's, the novels that talk about the governor, the rise of the governor, Road to Woodbury, Fall, and Fall Part 2, those books are not the backstory to the TV show Governor. And I don't know if that's what you're getting at, but yeah, those are not the backstories at all. You know what I mean? On the TV show, Penny is his daughter, Philip was his real name. Those books are actually the backstory to the comic book Governor. It's canon. The novels are actually backstory to the comics, officially. And that backstory being that the governor that we know is Philip Blake, his real name is actually Brian Blake, it's his brother, and he takes his name once he takes control of Woodbury. And Penny is actually his niece in the comic book. So when you're reading the comic book and you get to the governor, they don't ever tell you because it's in the book. But yeah, Penny's his niece and his real name is Brian Blake. Now for the TV show, he didn't say Brian just to fit the backstory of the book. He said Brian, I believe it was like Harriet or something, because that is the name he saw when he was walking into town, spray painted on that shed or whatever it was. So that was just a little um, callback to the book. That's all. That's all it is. But the books absolutely have nothing to do with the TV show. Not at all. Do you think when they go to DC that they will introduce snow and different weather into the scenes? I think it make the show more interesting. You know what, I agree with you. I think it would make the show more interesting, but unfortunately because they're shooting schedule, I don't believe they will. Real talk or walk? Do you think we'll see Douglas on the show or some bullshit female remix version that has been rumored because of the casting for Donna? I personally would be pissed as hell. I really hope. Well, you know what, I actually just talked to somebody the other day about that. They brought it up to me in a private message and I said, well, that would be kind of stupid because, uh, no offense either, the person I was talking to, you believe that they're going to end with Rick killing Pete, yet the only reason, you know, for Rick to kill that guy is something he does too, you know what I mean? And it's because he got permission from Douglas. See what I mean? So if you believe that's happening, you can't have a remixed Douglas into this Donna chick. You can't have it because then who gives him the permission? Does he even get permission? Is this when Rick takes over as king or leader? Personally, to me, that sounds, ugh, you know what I mean? 
as storytelling like we show up in this big community and it's such a big event and then instantly because of some stupid mishap all of a sudden rick is the leader and then we end the season you know what i mean it's just uh it just doesn't fit so no i don't believe at this time i don't believe there is a remix of douglas I'll believe it when I see it. Chelsea Parker. Ronnie, do you think when the show returns in episode 9, they will do the hanging adaptation from the comics? Uh, it's very likely at this point. It looks like it might happen, either with Sasha or Maggie. Who do you think is being buried in the preview? Personally, Tyrese, but it's probably Beth. Nick Schneider. For future villains in The Walking Dead, how can they make them more intimidating? <laughs> A bigger crew behind them, that's how. And physically intimidating. I mean, you look at them and you're like, damn. Cookie Crap. That's your name? Have you watched Ray Donovan? If so, how do you like it? Um, no, I have not watched that. Stick of Truth. After watching the 5B sneak peek, do you think we will see Wiltshire State's arc in 5B? If so, how do you think they will do the sign reveal with the lack of no snow? Uh, yeah, I believe 100% they will do the Wiltshire Estates. As far as the sign reveal, they're going to have to do that with either leaves or dirt, dust, dirt, dust, dirt, dust, dirt, dust, dirt, dust. I mean, they have to do it with something else. It could be something as far as an open or shut door, which when it moves, it reveals it. You know what I mean? But yeah, I do believe they'll do it. HRS Productions. Do you think Daryl or Maggie could have visions of Beth like Rick did with Lori or Shane? No, I don't. Daniel Lewis. Do you think David Morrissey was the right choice for the governor? I always imagined a governor like Danny Trejo. Yeah, I think he was absolutely the right choice. I think he did an amazing job. Amazing. Daniel Lewis. Do you think you could rank the episodes in season five from best to worst? This would be a nice video idea. You could also do it with every season. Thanks for awesome videos. You know what? I plan on doing it at the end of the full season. If you guys really wanted to know, I would have to say from best to worst, I would give off the top of my head. Um, Slaptown would be eight. Consumed, crossed, self-help, strangers, four walls and a roof, and no sanctuary. Was that all of them? All right, well, if I missed one, oh well. But that would probably be around about. Drew Shaver, what was the most meaningful death on The Walking Dead for you? Most meaningful? The only one, I don't I don't cry at all in movies or shows. I mean, I know there's some that do and some that don't. I have not cried yet at all for The Walking Dead. I mean, not even came close, except for, and that's not a bad thing either. Right? It's, just, it's really hard to, I don't know, for some reason it just doesn't do it. However, Sophia's coming out of the barn, I mean, that scene did, like, have a hint of choking me up. It really did because, uh, um, and I noticed this, now being a father, and it's only after being a father, especially when it comes to, like, daughter things, it's it's hard to watch, it's hard to, to, you know, deal with, so, you know what I mean? It's hard to think of. I mean, that probably was the most impactful, but the most meaningful, I would have to say uh, Herschel's, because that smile he gives after Rick's speech, there was just, yeah, man, that was just, that was on point with the writing and the way it was filmed. Absolutely. Shy would awful. Who would win, the governor or Negan? Hand to hand, I believe Negan would whoop his ass, but going to war with two groups, I believe the governor would win. James Paulette. With the editing and filming errors they've made in season five regarding the van drop and Beth being shot, do you think they could rectify those errors through re-editing those scenes to put the correct re-edited versions on DVD? Or do you think the only way to mend these issues is to reshoot the scenes? Oh no, they could correct it absolutely if they wanted to. But they're not going to because we're going to buy it anyway. You know what I mean? They truly need incentive to fix anything in Hollywood. They really do. And uh, so they won't fix it. But they could. And they don't even need to reshoot it. Not even at all. Yeah, they can make it work. Chase Andrews. If you were given the task of making The Walking Dead movie, how would you fit such a large story in one or what parts would you include in the movie? Actually, if I was given the opportunity, I am going to do... <sighs> Now that I have that Walking Dead movie project on this channel and I'm supporting it, I would have to say that I would not support in any way another live action movie, per se. I would lead more towards uh, something a little different. And I'm going to explain this in detail in the upcoming video about the Walking Dead movie project. But I would go with a, I call it stylized, but it would be like a cartoon CGI mix. I'll show you guys what I mean in the detailed video, but it would have to be cartoon and it would be exactly, exactly the comic book brought to life. You know what I mean? You see the comic book in live action 
And they do have an example of this. It's called a motion comic, and they did it for the first 14 pages of the Walking Dead comic book. But um, that's a really good uh, storyboard, but that's not the final product that I would do at all. You know what I mean? But as far as fitting it into one, I would do like a four-part series as far as right now and just do maybe like two and a half hour uh, movies, but show everything. I wouldn't cut anything out or add any original story. I would literally adapt what's there. You could tweak things in a little ways to make what's there even better, but you don't have to change it. If you say Negan is going to be introduced in season eight, why is AMC trying to cast Kevin Durant? I don't have a name for this. Where's the name? All right, I don't have a name for this. I don't know who you are asking, but I say Negan's going to be in season eight just as like a prediction because I feel, you know what I mean, that that would be a right time to do it. You know, but that's not set in stone. You know what I'm saying? Uh, as far as casting Kevin Durant, you might have to Google that again because he did come out and say that that was taken out of context. Kevin Durant is not going to be a Negan at this time, thankfully so. I mean, he's a good actor. I like him in certain roles, but he is not right for Negan. He's just not right for Negan. This tainted beat. Do you think Rick will blame Noah for the death of Beth? No, I do not. How will Rick get to D.C.? I am hoping that there are two scouts from Alexandria. I am hoping that they use an RV to sleep at and they used a quad to get around little trails. And I'm hoping they take an RV or a bus or something like this to bring them to Alexandria. Will Daryl start to disconnect from Carol after losing Beth? No, I don't believe so. I believe we'll see him a disconnect kind of as to be expected with characters as they mourn. Do you think we will see more of Michonne? Yeah. And how? Um, I think she's going to step to the forefront as far as being the backbone to keep moving forward, to keep taking that chance. We need to get somewhere, you know what I mean? Because we already seen some of that in the trailer. Alright, Deadheads, let's break it here. If you have any other opinions or answers you would give to some of these questions, you can leave that down below. As well, if you have questions for another upcoming Q&A, you can also leave those down below. I will hit the thumbs up when I log your question down for a Q&A. Leave a piece of your mind down below. I'm done talking. It's your turn. Subscribe now.